shopping adventure. I want to go over pricing with you guys. I want to take you to some antique shops. I want to take you to the Goodwill and I want to compare the pricing there. I want to share with you guys how I source things. So it's kind of like a behind the scenes of me sourcing, but me sharing a lot more than I typically would. So in this video, I think that sharing pricing with you will help you to understand items that are in demand, they have good condition, and what it is selling for on the internet. A lot of people do what I do. This is not something new that I just started. I have actually been sourcing vintage for over 20 years. My shop is rather new. It's VendyCollections.com. And so today's video is about me sharing the whole behind the scenes of me sourcing where I find these things, um, why I decide to pick a lot of these things up, and what I'm paying for them, as well as comparing it to items that are already online that has already sold or are selling for a certain price. I'm not going to lie, there is a lot of research that goes on to selling vintage. I just don't go into a Goodwill shop and just pick up a random old item just because it's old. There is a knowledge that you have to understand in the home decor genre. You'd have to understand trends. You'd have to understand what's in, what's out, what are people looking for, what's in demand, and what are people willing to pay for. So you have to have a leg up on a lot of that information before you're able to be successful reselling something. Um, so I kind of want to dispel that just because something is purchased at a Goodwill doesn't necessarily mean that it is cheap, that it is garbage. Um, you know, they always say that one man's junk is another man's treasure. And I find that to be absolutely true because someone may have thrown something away and not have known its value. And another person may walk in there and find this thing and it would be the most valuable item to them. Let's go, let's go hit a few stores today and let me show you what's on the shelves. Let me show you its pricing. And also let me compare a similar item of what it has sold for or what it is selling or what it is selling for on the internet. So let's go. all the time where do I find all of my pieces and um, I have to say that you know to do what I'm doing for a business you definitely have to shop a lot you have to shop often you have to know when the items are being put out so there's a little bit of a method to you know getting lucky um, often some people like a lot of these old gilded mirrors this one is now this mirror can possibly go for about $200 or more I don't think you can hear me <laughs> So for those who were inquiring about my vase in my last collection that I sold, I think it sold for $50, $65, I'm not sure. But I wanted to show you a very similar one. It's not even as cool as the one that I just sold, so. Here's a really cool silver platter. And it's so mark. Yeah.
They're from France. So these little dishes I would definitely buy. They would be a good buy because they're priced so well and they're Limoges, France. And you can definitely maybe double or triple your money on these if you put them at auction. Um, so that's a good find. I'm not gonna buy them, but I just wanted to show you that that is a really good buy. Okay, so I found these. This is a really pretty set, mid-century. It's they are really pretty though. The more I talk about it, the more I'm convincing myself to get it, <laughs> but I'm not. obviously through Goodwill finds, you know, I didn't have at the time 20 years ago, I didn't have the resources to buy antiques because antiques are quite expensive. And that's, that's where I want to show you guys a difference. We're going to go into a Goodwill today because it is quite significantly different. Antique shops are meant more for a collector. Every so often you can source things from an antique shop just because they mark things down or maybe something has gotten overlooked. And that's typically what I'm looking for when I'm in an antique shop, something that's overlooked, something that, and it's the same for the Goodwill. I'm looking on shelves for things that maybe a worker just missed. Um, I have found so many rare, valuable, expensive things for a few dollars. And I can't say that that happens every single time, but it happens often because I make it a point to shop often for um, for my items, so. informative I hope that you learned a little bit about what it is to shop and find things at low price and sell things for a higher price and that's typically what I do I um, encourage you guys that if you find interest in this you guys can do it yourself too if you enjoyed this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already but I thank you guys so much for watching this week and I'll see you in my next video soon